This is a quick video to show you how to uh, anal analyze and design a portal frame in STAD Pro. The question that we have is a, a portal frame which um, is fixed on the left column at the bottom and has a pin in the right column and the loads are provided as seen. There is a concentrated load uh, which has been assigned as a live load and there is a uniformly varying load on the right column. And then there are a few distributed loads on top. So we're going to be making this model in uh, STAD and then uh, run, an, run an analysis as well as design. So let's uh, <coughs> quickly jump into it. So what we have is uh, STAD. I'm going to create a new project. Let's call it frame and let's name it as uh, portal frame. Um, analysis design and I'm going to be using meter and kilonewton at the moment and then um, if required we will change it during the analysis during the modeling next uh, yes I want to overwrite it and add a beam finish so uh, we have a default grid here where we'll be um, drawing the beams on so we'll see how this uh, can be changed if, if at all it's required now there is an edit I want to change it to um, 1 meter spacing here and 0 0.5 meter spacing here uh, which helps me create this uh, grid and then click OK now when you look at it uh, we are we will have to create a node uh, over here over here where the concentrated load is then a few nodes on the top beam uh, right over here between at this uh, point at this point and this point and then finally over here so let's uh, start creating the grids now uh, let's creating the nodes on the grid so we start drawing the beam straight away so draw here so we want to have here and we have one node here one node here and at one meter then at another three meters away and then at one meter and then finally a straight one and we will hit escape button and the model is created now what we have to do is uh, we have to click on now since we have made this let's get into some of the specifications let's provide a property according to the question the property that uh, we are going to use is 300 by 500 uh, section for all three members the beam and the two columns so i have uh, defined let's get into rectangular and then we have yd which is 0.5 meters and 0.3 meters uh, and hit add and then since we're using the same uh, material we are going to have to uh, apply it to the view so hit assign to view and assign and to make sure that the orientation of your members are correct uh, we have a 3d rendered view if you click on this you can see the 3d rendered view you can see that uh, the the members are oriented the way that you wish to but in case you want to change the orientation or if the orientation did not come out as expected what we can do is you just have to right click on the member and then there is properties you can hit and change beta angle and then you can provide some another angle for example I am going to rotate it by 90 degrees and hit ok and close and when you hit on the 3d render view you see that you have rotated this member okay so let's change it back because uh, we don't we are we're not expecting it to be this way so to change it back and you can see that the beta has been uh, specified here so let's change it go back to properties change beta and make it back to zero okay close i don't know if it was applied let's make sure that it's applied properties uh change beta zero okay, okay. so let's check it again it has been assigned back to <coughs> zero and then let's continue and the next step that we have here is to create the support i'm going to create a support 
have a fixed support and the pin support. So I'm adding the fixed support here and I'm adding the pin support here. And then let me assign uh, the, the, the supports to the model. I'm going to use assign, use cursor to assign. I'll put it here, it's added, and then I'm going to repeat it for the pin support. And it's added and close. So there are a, there are a couple of uh, short keys that uh, we are keyboard shortcuts that will that will come in handy. For example, now you can see that uh, the nodes have disappeared. So to get to see the nodes again, you, you can just hit on Shift K, and the nodes reappear. And also to see the to see the beam numbers, there is uh, Shift B, and then you can see the beam numbers. This will come in handy when we are uh, looking at the stand output where we'll be seeing the design so the design will be given based on the slab um, beam number provided by uh, the stand so it's good that you need to display it straight away and then regarding the loads we are going to use uh, we're going to add some loads like we have dead load which will uh, let's call it dl which will take care of the some distributed load as well as the self weight and then hit add and then we are going to add <coughs> a live load as well so let's call it ll and hit on add and then uh, that's pretty much to be done here and then uh, we also have uh, the load combinations which can be added in the same so let's create uh, define the load combinations the first load combination in the question that you need to assign is 1.4 dead load and this next combination is 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load so let's create the first uh, case and that is 1.4 and add and the next load combination that you have here also let's uh, I think we can rename it edit let's rename it as uh, 1.4 dead load forgot to rename it change and let's create uh, the second one Let's create the second uh, load combination, which is uh, 1.2 dead load and 1.6 live load. Let's rename it as one. This is just for our reference. Let's rename it as 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live load and hit add. And then you have the load combinations. Now let's define the loads. Okay, the first load is going to be. Uh, the self weight dead load is going to be the self weight so just hit add and the self weight is added to the list and then we have uh, as mentioned in the question we have uh, these as the dead loads the beam loads are dead so let's add the beam loads we have uh, a minus 5 kilonewton per meter add and then we have a minus 10 kilonewton per meter add and uh, close and the live load we have uh, two uh, loads and one is a nodal load which is uh, as you can see in the, in the in the coordinate axis provided here that uh, you need to provide it along the positive x so let's call it fx and that is a value of positive 15 because it's in the x direction we can verify it and change it in case we are wrong so uh, let's uh, keep it this way add it and then you have uh, another uh, uh, load which is uh, a member load and that is uh, un linearly varying so let's say it as uh, zero and it is varying as five and it, it is in the negative direction so negative x because you we have provided we have created the node from the member from starting from here to here therefore you might have to provide 0 and minus 5 let's see in case it's wrong we can change it so let's keep it as minus 5 uh, and uh, add that's it and then let's start applying it you know self weight is applies to all the members so let's click on self weight and assign to view Okay, and let's assign the first distributed load. We will use cursor to assign. Assign. And we have one here and one here. And then we have this load which is assigned here. So you can just zoom out. 
and see uh, the loads mm, they are okay and then we have to provide the uh, the concentrated load 15 kilonewton assign we hit it here and it has appeared and the distributed load is to be applied onto this member and yes it has been applied in the correct direction in case it is uh, assigned uh, as uh, not as expected you can just go around and uh, change the values you can hit this one edit and then it will change it uh, straight away without having to define it again so this is uh, pretty clear I uh, then we can uh, see some of the things we can start uh, this has been applied load has been designed I think we can run an analysis just to see that everything is as expected so I'm going to hit on commands analysis perform analysis uh, no print and we are going to analyze save and we have analyzed it and there are no errors warnings so I think then go to post processing mode. Let's see the results. Okay. Let's see the shear. Let's uh, change the scale. Hit apply. We have shear in Y. Oops. Let's see how MZ is varying. Um, apply immediately and WC. Uh, since we have uh, completed the analysis, we can get into design. To get into design, we have to go back to modeling and then we hit on design, concrete design and then select the code. So we are going to stick with ACI 318-2008 and then we define some of the parameters. So let's define the clear cover for outmost as, uh, as 50 uh, but then the unit is in meters so let's change it for our ease let's change it to millimeter and newton okay define parameters let's get into clb let's put it as 50 millimeter and add and then we have uh, fy main let's give it 420 add is it added okay. then we have fy sec secondary add it then we have uh, let's put the minimum reinforcement as according to the question it says to use the minimum bar diameter as 12 and maximum is 20 let's give 12 um, I mean 20 uh, for the maximum and let's give uh, 12 as the minimum and uh, let's give uh, and then let's close and let's assign all these to view because we are going to apply it to all the members so assign to view assign click this one assign to view assign click this assign to view assign click this assign to view assign click this assign to view and it is and once we have done this, let's uh, use some of those commands. We are going to design a beam, so add this command. Uh, we are going to design a column, add this command. And we are going to do a material takeoff, so add this command and close. So we have uh, this. Let's assign use cursor to assign. Assign, we are going to assign it to the beams. Assign the beams. And then we are going to assign design column to use cursor to sign sign to the columns two columns and uh, that's it and then we can hit on commands analyze perform analysis okay analyze and run analysis that will perform the analysis and uh, we have zero errors zero warnings and zero notes let's go into the view output file and let's quickly see uh, the design results we can see that uh, the, the design results are out you can see 
some of the design outputs you can see for example for uh, for the beam number three which is the beam uh, one and two was the columns three four five were the beams and six was again the column so this is the design for the beam and this is designed for the next part on the beam and this is the third part and uh, and then we have the column designs column number one two we have two columns and we can see that uh, the uh, area of steel required is so much and uh, specification has been provided as so and so for the three members and then finally we have the concrete takeoff which is the total amount of concrete that is required 1.7 cubic meters for the member and the total number of uh, the total weight of bars required in pounds so that's pretty much uh, about design. Thank you.